Now let's 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 bring in Paul. And we'll see if we can take calls here. Paul, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How you doing, man? I'm good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh and I'm sorry for the delay, but uh it ah. really it really couldn't be helped. And so uh nothing else I could do. I, I could have taken a rain. He said, a rain check as the Americans call it. And I said, I don't know what the fuck they call it in Mexico. But uh yeah, I I, I could have done that. But I decided not to. Uh, once th the grid was back online and everything, I said, you know what? Let's just roll it. Uh, bec because I know your brother well. I may even know him better than you, actually. And I, I knew that he would be crowing. He would be tut-tutting if we didn't get this interview on the air today. And oh, so, yeah. <laughs> right? He would take that as a victory. And so, you know, yeah. uh, goal streak, whatever the fuck, you know, of course, I'm, I'm proud of that. We're six, 69 in a row. Today, today would be 70. Um, like, that, that's very humbling and uh, makes me happy, uh, nice. the, the support from the audience. But also, it's like, you know what? Put your money where your mouth is. Uh, I'll put it on the line, even with a, with a delay. Um, that I couldn't help. There was nothing I could do about it, uh, and so I decided to 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 bring you on anyway. Now, for those, we we have quite a few things to go through here. But for those who who don't know who you are, who are you? I am Paul. I'm unfortunately for my sins, Cog's brother. Uh, that's uh, we, he calls me for what, uh, Robocog these days. Yeah, Robocop. He never <laughs> built the mask, by the way. But anyway, yeah, we, we could we could get to how he scammed his audience uh, on that as well. But uh, <laughs> it seems like sm small beans compared to you know raping a fourteen oh, year old. Uh, mm. But um, so <clears throat> let let me ask you first off. I saw this and listen to it with my own ears he doxed your daughter on air uh just and, and by the way i'm not one to moralize about doxing you know it is what it is but 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 he he is one to moralize about doxing right uh, so he yes. is he is one to do that i'm not but he is so he doxed your your daughter on air and uh you know threaten to call her up and do an interview with her on air is that is that correct yeah which i find odd she'd find it odd as well if he ever contacted her because he's torturing well forever yeah so I, 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 I mean why he constantly keeps dragging the family outside of me michael i gave his beef with me and michael we've been on the internet we've said a few things his beef with his earth sure. it doesn't i don't know why he keeps going after everyone but us he's trying to look for any i guess uh, weakness or something he can get at us with it's truly the acts of an innocent man to go after people's family constantly it's bizarre it's almost like he thinks he's some kind of mobster boss or something i i can't get it from you so I'm, I'm gonna go after your family kind of thing it's like it's just it's kind of sad really yeah it's sad and also so you know what i had made a decision right to like really yeah. mostly ignore this guy from now on because like you know he's all he, keep trying to. yeah yeah he stalks me every day and that's never gonna stop I, i'm fully aware of that but like i it's like you know giving him attention is like a sexual fetish for him like he gets off on me uh talking about yeah. him and and so it was like you know what i'm gonna ignore this guy and then well some things change and i'll tell you from my point of view and you and you can weigh in so the allegation from from your brother Mike, which you supported as well, um, yep. was that Cog was twenty six, I believe, years of age, uh, and fucked a fourteen year old. That was the allegation. Yeah. Now, for years, he denied that this woman even existed. Am I wrong? Yeah, he denied the woman existed, and he also denied that the uh, the actual meal happened either. 
like the event yes. we met at, uh, and going for drinks afterwards. Now, uh, when I was last on the stream, I said that I had met the girl. I wasn't aware that I had met the girl. Uh, I then chatted with Michael afterwards. I said, well, she, it was all, you went to a bar and you went to drinks. And I, I, I never went to the bar or drinks with, with, with the brothers. And he's like, no, she's at the meal. I was like, wait, what, what the meal? He, he brought goes, yeah, we went the family to meal. Right? After. Yeah, he, they went for drinks afterwards, but because I had an accident during the meal, because I, I had a bag at the time, uh, and that split, it was it was it was very embarrassing for me. That's why sure. I can't forget that night. Really, uh, I had to go home, and I I couldn't even fit, I didn't get to dessert. I, I had to go home at that point. I I literally, on my recollection, I then realized I had actually met her for like five seconds because um, she was kind of hiding behind Johnny. Uh, and I was busy actually She's talking. A little girl, to, but, but yeah, go ahead. Well, I was sorry. I was busy actually talking to uh, the people who actually come from overseas. You know, I thought they were more important than whoever the hell Johnny had brought to the meal this time. He, he had a habit of just having random girls on a regular basis. Uh, <laughs> some we remember the names of, others, they were literally just a, a blip. It, 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 Johnny, I know a lot of people like to think of him as like some big guy on the internet or whatever. To the family, he's literally the guy we don't really pay too much attention to. He's annoying, he's a little weird. Uh, so we kind of like, yeah, Johnny, whatever. Kind of that's how the family, most of the family treats him. Uh, he'd like to act like he's more important than the family, but he's literally the second from youngest, so he doesn't really get that much attention. And a lot of the, the brothers didn't actually even grow up with him properly, so a lot of them don't really know him or care to know him. Because he's by far, you've explained this before, but like he's like, it's like a generational thing, basically. Like he's that far out of the age range right like it, it just yeah he's, he's 10 years younger than me yeah he's exactly 10 well i'd say 10 years six months younger than me all right now let's see uh i'm gonna set up a twitter space i think it should be men uh but we'll see now tell me what started this latest round so god it's weird he came out with a uh a weird almost confession but this came after he was i think i, I made a comment on uh, someone i was watching um i forgot exactly i think it might be near juice um it probably I, was I'll, god he yeah. he really gets under cock skin it's amazing actually but yeah go ahead well that's because all the cock the cock really really hurt him in a way that i don't think even calling him a pedo could hurt him because that hits so close to home because in real life he was a cook with a girl named Hannah, and uh, she she really dealt him a, a pretty nasty blow because he did everything for her, and she ended up still going with the other guy at the end of the day. Mm. And I think that's that's his sore so, spot. So whatever was calling him in that cook, the cook, the cook is also the almost the epicenter of the, the his decline. Like he was he was doing fine until that the whole uh, drama queen thing and then it's like the way he handled it was really bad uh, and it's just it's just been a slow steady drop into madness from that point onwards yeah i so what really got my interest on this is from my understanding and you can correct me if i'm wrong um mm -hmm. he's basically been denying that this was an event the whole time, right? Like that there yeah, was no girl. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there was no girl. There was no girl. The meal didn't happen. Uh, and then I made a comment saying, you told us that she was 17. And then I, I think I added on, uh, did this girl exist? Did the meal happen or not? Um, because Johnny doesn't really read things except for what he wants to see. He jumped on the well, 17. Well, he's dyslexic too, so, so, but yeah, go ahead. I don't think dyslexic makes up for being a retard. <laughs> uh, Me either. But go ahead. So he jumps on this. I was going, look, I told you, know, she's 17. I'm in the clear, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, this is exactly what Michael said. You told everyone she was 17. She then went to a bar. I wasn't at the bar, but the, the, the story that it, when they were all joking at Christmas about taking the piss out of him, uh, Michael may have like you know pulled up the ID thing before they went in. But I know for a fact that she... From, from the other brothers, that they were embarrassed by it because she was carded at the bar. Uh, and that was kind of made a bit of a scene because, well, no one really gets carded at the bar. I mean, even girls 17 years old don't get carded at the bar in England. It's like you've got to look really young as a girl to get carded at the bar. Yeah. 
and that's why they were all really embarrassed about it. That's why they were taking the piss out of the Christmas event. So, yeah, and like you said, I mean, there's a culture of drinking in England, right? Like, unless you look, yeah. you know, <laughs> really, you young, really young, they're not gonna even fuck with you. They'll just fill up your beer or whatever. Yeah. Um, like it's, yeah. it's not even a thing. Um, I, I told this story a million times, but I went to a pub and it was like 10 a.m. and this 70 something year old woman came in and said, Give me the regular. And it was two giant, like full, not, not even pints, but like just, I, I don't even know what you call it, uh, giant mugs full of IPA. They drink in England, uh, is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, they, they drink a lot. Uh, and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it might have been a pint, a double pint. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get served. And then I saw this old lady come up to the counter and order this at nine a.m. in the morning. And I was like, okay, I'm good. Um, so that's breakfast. That's what I. Yeah, that's that was, no. She literally yeah. did. She, no, it was literally her breakfast. Is like this is my regular. Like this is this, this is what I do. Uh, and so you know, I'm not judging her. Her, of course, I've you know had my own uh, problems, whatever. But like, um, she was she was seventy two. I don't know. It seemed to serve her well, to be honest, because she, she she's a lot older than me, right? Like, uh, anyway, go ahead. So he's now come out that saying he was twenty one at the time of the the meal and and going to the bar, which I know is nonsense. Uh, you see, the girl I took to the meal uh, was someone I've been. Uh, was someone he's mentioned on the show. I don't want to say names because I, I don't like sure. being like him. That's fine. But it was the person I was seeing at the time. Uh, I only started dating in, in 2011. So he would have been 23 in 2011. And we didn't do the meal in 2023. We were too busy in London and she was exploring a lot of England. Uh, and we didn't actually spend much time in Manchester at all. Uh, so it must have been like, and I'm giving him grace here. More than I probably should. They're saying it's, it's on the next visitation, which would have been about three years later. It's also, I remember, because I had a hernia. Uh, I still have my back because I had it. Because I have Crohn's disease, um, which seems to evade Johnny how crippling that disease actually is. Um, it seems to be a bad thing to have an illness. Uh, so I have Crohn's disease. I've had, uh, I did have a bag. I don't anymore, but I did have a bag. I had a, a reversal operation. And then that reversal operation went a little bit wrong. So they put the bag back on me, and I also, because the operation wasn't great, I got a hernia at the time, and that's how I quite distinctly know the time period we're talking about. Uh, later on, obviously, I got, I got the reversal again, they removed the hernia, and I'm doing pretty well since then. They, they check in on me every now and again, but I'm doing all right. Uh, I still have Crohn's disease. Uh, it's still a crippling disease. Um, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs. I'm sure everyone knows what that is. Uh, but basically, Crohn's disease the only is well known. Yeah, go ahead. He had to be 26 years old because that was the time period I had that. It's, it's the only time period I had that, uh, which would have been well, 2014. Um, but yeah, I had Crohn's disease from the age of 30. Uh, so it was 2008 is when I got it. It was three years uh, later, which would be 2011, which is when I got with Ada. And then three years after that, was I'd been through a lot of different operations by that time and I was just coming up from a reversal in the next year so yeah I had the hernia, I had the bag I had the accident, that's why I don't forget it um, and I did, it's one of the blinking you miss it I, I bet it for all the five seconds uh, so I'm going to go with Michael probably knows more than I do because apparently she went round to his house with Johnny a sure. couple of times um, but like I said uh, I know she was a short redhead. She did look young. Uh, the girl I was with at the time actually kind of nudged me and went, she looks a bit young, doesn't she? Because we were going into a place that served alcohol in, in the restaurant. So she was like, she was, she was already a little bit wary. And I was just like, well, it's just Johnny in it. <laughs> it's so sad. That's right. where we got to with yeah. Johnny. It's just, we're just like, it's just Johnny. That's just what Johnny, Johnny always says was a random ass young looking girl. That's just <laughs> what you're going to do. He's going to say she's whatever age, and we're going to be like, right, fine, whatever. Well, <laughs> what if you've you, heard some, all, all some, calls, some of his clips, he, he talks about, well, of course she, she didn't have an ID and, and all this. And, like, that's not normal. I mean, most people uh, of age or, 
Yeah, you would have thought you'd at least have a student ID if she was she was of age. Uh, you have to have student IDs from college, which is sixteen upwards. Uh, in in the UK, college I know over there is like our university, uh, but over here it's like sixteen upwards is college, and you can get a college ID. Not not many people would accept it. I mean, not many people need to use it when they're in college. Uh, I hate to say that about England, but that is our drinking culture. You, like I said, you'd have to look really young to get carded by a barman in England. Yeah, it's they don't. Like, they don't really care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, no, that's no. what I'm saying. Yeah, unless it's like, oh, okay, um, you know, like this bitch looks really young. Like, I, you know, yeah, I don't really <laughs> up. right. I'm um, get fired for this one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and of course, huge drinking culture there. There's a huge yeah. drinking culture here in Mexico. Um, in America, I, I would say there is a hu huge drinking culture, but it's even more uh, in England uh, and even more in Mexico, where it's just like, yeah, serve it up, right? Uh, and they don't, um, unless, you know, it's uh, dicey, right? Uh, they, they don't really concern themselves with, like, showing ID, or I've never, no. of course, I'm, you know, older, but I've never had to show ID. Um, and I would expect that's the norm in England as well. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Unless you're in a supermarket, that's the only time they're ever going to card you. In a bar, it's like, it's too busy. They ain't got time for that shit a lot of the time. But if they like, you really look young, like, like I have to, you know, <laughs> it's going to hold up the whole bar. It's like 10 deep. And the last thing they want to do is hold up the bar. That's why it's so embarrassing for my brothers. It's sort of just like, oh my God, no. No. Oh God! Why did you take it to the bar? Why did you take it to the bar? I mean, like it's like one of those like just hide her in the back or something. Don't take it to the bloody bar. <laughs> Look, he didn't get kicked out. Now let me ask you something. First off, Dingo, can you hear me? You should be able to. Okay. You know what? Okay. Well, there's a reason for that because. Um, it's not connected to Bluetooth. Give me a second, and I'll do that, and then he should be able to hear you after that. Um, hopefully. Uh, we're still working out some kinks here. Um, now speak, Dingo. Speak! Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear Dingo? I can, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, works perfectly. Oh, I can hear him now. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. Yeah, that was my fault. Uh, it wasn't properly connected. Uh, now, before we get into the uh, meat and potatoes of, of everything here, um, Dingo, did you did you have something to say? or? <laughs> well, there's a couple things. There's, but I guess the first thing is, just to let you know my history with COG, I began hating cog whenever he he used to do this show with thomas ellington remember thomas ellington old stinky? i do yep stink my face ass, now, whatever yeah. yeah and i know that thomas ellington is jewish and everybody in the audience is like yeah but you hate jews yes i know but like the thing is if i were someone's co-host and i don't off, hate jews by the way i just want to point that out for the record but go ahead um of course not. Of course, some, some of Ralph's favorite people are you. And some of them, I'm sure, are great people. Right? But we've got to figure out what the hell's going on. No. But uh, if I were Cog, like, I would have stuck by my co-host when all that happened to him. But Cog didn't. He threw him under the bus and laughed at him with everybody else. And I thought that was shitty. And then I don't remember why else I hate him. But, like, there's, I think there's <laughs> some other good reasons. But, but like something, I don't remember what all happened, but some shit happened between us that made me hate the guy. But I don't hate you, Cox, brother. And I heard you said something about you had a, a bag. Are you referring to a colostomy bag? Yes. It's a, it's, it's called a stoma bag. It's a stoma. Okay. Uh, it's like a part of the intestine that sticks out. Okay, and it's I'm not hitting on you or trying bullet. to come on to you. <laughs> I used to date, uh, not date a girl, but I, I had sex with a a girl that had a colostomy bag, and she's still hot to this day. So nothing to be ashamed yeah. of there. Okay. Oh no, I'm never ashamed of it. I, I always wonder why my brother has an issue with it at all. It's this very odd behavior. How hot is she, Dingo? One to ten. 
Well, when I when I fucked her, it was probably she's probably like a solid eight point four. Really? And I'd say she's oh, like yeah. a bag yeah. of problem. What are you talking about? Like, uh... yeah, no, yeah. And now <laughs> probably still like a probably like a seven. She got three kids now, though. So I mean, being a seven with three kids is not bad. No, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh, very uh, most females can't accomplish that. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, now let's go through. First off. He had a, an online confrontation with you within the last week, and I don't think we actually played it on the air, but he got so worked up by ear juice um, that, that he just couldn't help himself, basically, and called you. I, I don't know if he called you or you called him. Um, I think he, no, called, he called me. Yeah, I think he called you. Um, I wouldn't call him. Yeah, right, exactly. And so, you know, and he's saying all this shit. What is your point of view from what happened there? Well, he just came on and was doing his usual thing of asking you the same question repeatedly over and over again like some demented parrot. And it's really weird. Um, I think he eventually, uh, he could barely hear anything I was saying. Thanks, respect us. Um, Five dollars, think it costs. Like, Six fish wear schoolgirl uniform while they both role play fuck. <laughs> I'll, I'll replay that again, but go ahead and finish your thought. Do you want to go back over it? Yeah, just the last sentence. Okay, so uh, it was, it's basically he was repeating himself over and over again uh, like a demented parrot, and I, I, you couldn't hear it anything i was saying really um so i don't understand the point his audio is terrible he does usual uh but he, it's just it's one of those doesn't give you a fair shake it's literally just i'm gonna phone him up i'm just gonna basically just repeatedly say the same loaded question over and over and over again and you're just like what is the point of this why 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 are you what is the point of this if you're not gonna say a question and listen that's the point of asking questions to wait for an answer, but you just keep going on and on and on. Uh, so eventually, it was just like I think eventually it was like he said something about um, the girl's name. And he asked me to say, tell him the girl's name. Yeah, uh, he's hung up okay, on that. Well, he 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 claims that the uh, alleged discrepancy in the girl's name uh, proves uh -huh. him innocent, it, basically. It's, it's absurd. I was just kind of like, I got to a point where I was just like, I'm just going to fuck with it. I'm going to say a girl's name of, it is a real girl. Uh, it was actually another 16 year old. Jesus. It's a long line of 16 year olds. Uh, we've got Catherine. Uh, we've got Christina. Uh, but this was Olga or Olga. Um, and it is another 16 year old. I just, I wanted to see how he'd react to it. Uh, that that was purely, uh, and he reacted exactly the way I, I, I anticipated he would, which is denial, denial, denial. I'm going to spurg out laugh, uh, which we actually found out when we were uh, playing Among Us. It's funny how many tells when people are lying, <laughs> you've learned that. And his biggest tell when he spurgs out. You know he's lying when he spurgs the fuck out. Either there's two, one of two ways. He either spurgs out, or he'll get real quiet, real close to that microphone, and speak really seriously to you. They're the two ways you know he's chatting absolute shit. Yeah, and he does that all the time. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. um, your appearance today was not announced until today, basically. Um, no. Then we had the tech problems and, and whatever. We're here now. But, like... Once he found out you were coming on the show today, he completely lost his shit. He made like 15 yeah. tweets about me, about you, about everybody else. Um, and then he, he tried to get on the air early to, I don't know, damage control uh, this. But um, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think he did so well. I believe he tried to uh, call the police about harassment or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was, yeah. it's funny you bring that up because somebody in the chat <laughs> suggested that he go to the police, turn himself in, basically, and claim innocence, yeah. and that if you didn't stop after that, that you would be, um, you know, pulled up for harassment. That was their, their, their yeah. genius suggestion, by the way. Um, Wait, I have, I have a question. Go ahead. Go. I remember also. I remember now why I, why I hate talk so much. It's because of the Portugal thing, obviously. Like, how did I forget about the Portugal thing? Like, I mean, that's why I hate the motherfucker. But anyways, so Cog's brother. What can what should I what can I call you? Paul. Paul. Paul's yeah, Paul. 
Paul, that's right. I forgot. Okay, so y'all were y'all are y'all half brothers or full brothers? Well, that's up for debate. But basically, my question is, y'all were raised by the same parents, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, and I'm assuming that you're not some giant piece of shit, or he would have told us all by now, with proof, right? Well, obviously, yeah. He'd have all the dirt in the world to okay, all over so, on me. So how, how, else. how did you turn out how, how did you turn out well, and he turned out to be such a giant asshole, like, and y'all were raised in the same family? Like, I, what do you think about that? Ten years different. He grew up mostly in Glossop in the middle of uh, the countryside. I grew up in Manchester City Centre. So I had a much tougher upbringing than he did. That's his, his, he was pampered. Wow. He, he probably was sucking on mom's titty way too long. So yeah, Man, that's how he made his own culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Manchester City Center. I, I could see that being a, a difficult uh, uh, upbringing. <laughs> All right. Well, one other thing. What uh, do you what do you what do you think about this? Um, on a scale of one to ten. Fucking um, my name is Charlie Big Potatoes. Fucking um, I'm a scouser. I'm from Liverpool. That's close. That's really close. It's pretty good. Ah, I'd, I'd say probably a good seven out of ten on that one. Nice. <laughs> you people go remember Mark Collette? Yeah, I remember Mark him. He was just he, he, he was. He was like. He, he said he you sound like, like shit. Like, yeah, yeah. He was like, please don't ever. Ever attempt that again? I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, he he actually roasted the old bingo <laughs> here. Um, so uh, your prediction is coming true. Mm. Uh, yeah, they what were do you mean about that? So it was Machiavelli who I it's like this whole thing because I was been trying, on the trying show to warn before, for those who don't know. Yeah. By the way, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I try to warn Machiavelli away from my brothers, going, "He's gonna fuck you over eventually, mate." It's like. He's like, no, no, no. It's like, and now, and now he's turned on Machiavelli. He, he did exactly what I said he would do. He turned on Machiavelli. He did, did a full show smearing him over the internet. And it's like, right, well, that age well did. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell? It's, it's like, I, d I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with brother. I don't understand. Why, why would you literally do what someone has predicted you were going to do to the person you actively defend? It, it's so weird that. And he's just like, right, well, you just proved me right <laughs> again. <laughs> it's like, keep going. And this is a guy um, who gave him lots of money and tons of support yeah. for years. Oh, that told me. Once he's got the money, he's gone. Like, Johnny's like that. It's like he did, a, I think he did a stream the other day. As soon as he hit his goal, it was just like, see ya, bye, later, no free one. Bye. So he's <laughs> just, he's there for the money. It doesn't matter what he tells you. He is always, since the very beginning, since he started getting money out of this, he's there for the money. How like, well, how else is he going to live with, with like, I don't know what people like to say he's on benefits. I don't believe he is on benefits. I do think he is tax uh quite heavily. Yeah, uh, of course. Because on, on his income tax. Uh, so that that's the thing he might want to sort out. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, outside of that, he's literally living off, off the donations he gets. As far as I'm, I'm aware, I thought he's living off his wife, um, who I, I'm going to say right now, I actually kind, kind of feel for her. She, she thought she got Prince Charming. She got hands from uh, Frozen uh, speaking in, in Disney language because that's what I think that's, that's the only level. thing they understand. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, his wife's a pretty big bitch too, though, right? Like she's a pretty. Like, oh pretty, come on! Is she pretty hefty? Uh, here, right? like, am I wrong? Like uh, I, I don't know. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I like. Don't do it, Paul. Personally, but you know, I also like boobs as well. But she she seems to be lacking there. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I don't really have anything to say about her. Um, I, I she has a lot to say about you, though. I, I, yeah, because she's defending that guy. Like a lot of girls do that, they'll defend their husband. I guess she's kind of right no. to do so. You know, at the end of the day, she thinks she's doing the right thing. But she'll find out in the long run that she's just another victim and a long line of victims. Oh boy, he wants your house, by the way. Don't even think he doesn't. He, he married you for the house. He married you <laughs> for love. He never once says he loves this woman. He never once has said on his stream, I love my wife. 
right? She says she loves him a lot. He never said that he loved his wife. He loves the house, though. Really loves the house. He talks about the house all the time. Yeah, because he'd be homeless without it. Um, mm -hmm. um, we saw what he was staying in before, and he left it in such a state of disrepair that 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 he would likely not be eligible for another council mm -hmm. home. Am I incorrect? Or well, yeah, that kind of stuff gets you blacklisted pretty quickly, leaving you that kind of state. They expect you to tidy up before you leave, so they don't have to. It's going to cost them a lot of money to do that. Actually, also, I'm wondering now if he's actually running away from council tax in Manchester. They will find him for that. He can't run away forever. He's what about his political ideology? Like, I've, I've seen his political ideology, his public-facing one, shift over the years. What is, what yeah, is, what is his real political ideology? You know what? And, and I'll let Dingo take that over for a second, just because i got to step away for one, for one minute. But I'll let Dingo take that over, because I've noticed the same thing. Um, where, first off, he was almost like hiling. I won't make the motion myself, but like... Uh, and then it's like, oh, well, I'm like my family, Holocaust survivors, whatever. And I'm not trying to get into that, but like, um, uh, he kind of shifts with the wind, uh, if you know what I mean, uh, Paul. But I'll let you respond. I'll be right back in like 30 seconds. Well, yeah, it's, it's uh, political ideology has shifted somewhere over the years. I mean, I was there like right at the beginning when he was making his channel. Um, and we would have many discussions uh, of his stupid ideas and arguments, which I would try and steer them in the right course. Uh, as time went on, I kind of things happened. I was no longer uh, like less and less in, in his life, and he started moving towards, as Johnny does, towards whatever the hell he wants. And it's whatever was popular, whatever was making money, and that seems to be the way he goes. He goes to whatever is popular and making money. He has gone from so many different political angles. It's whatever he thinks makes him look good. And then he also thinks he can take some virtuous, like, like standing point over everyone. It's just, it's just a pile of bullshit. He's literally stood in a pile of bullshit, looking down his nose at the world. He's like, he's just a hypocrite. Nine times out of ten, he's a hypocrite. He usually um, spends a lot of his time uh, projecting. Uh, a lot of his own insecurities, a lot of his own behavior onto others, uh, saying that they are guilty of things that he has personally actually done. In fact, you can actually look through his videos and see he's actually done them. And then later on, he'll be being the hypocrite, saying, no, this is bad. It's like, you did all these things. Look, you've literally recorded evidence. There's a, there's a pile of evidence that you did all these things. And yet you're going to stand there and say, they can't do it. It's like, it's, what? No self-awareness at all. It's like he's just got the memory of a fish or something. It's bizarre to me. Or is he what, just what a dishonest life? liar? But anyway, go ahead, Dingo. Yeah, yeah. It's hard, yeah, that's probably true. You can't, it's hard to keep up with your lies after a certain amount of time. Yeah, it is. I think he's cut off the lies he's made. I mean, you can't remember them if you make up so many. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you're like a really skilled liar. Uh, and he's not. He's a, he's a fucking mm -hmm. mongoloid. But uh, anyway, go ahead, Dingo. If you're still alive. Sorry, literally just almost had a wreck. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, a fucking pipe just came off the back of an 18-wheeler, dude, and I was two cars behind. Damn. And, like, there's a traffic traffic that has stopped now behind me. Like, oh, my God, I just almost died, bro. <laughs> Anyways, you know what Live that means? <laughs> Yeah, that would have uh, that would have made the chat super happy if I would have died live on the air. But um, okay, so uh, fights. Has he ever been in a fist fight that you know of? Uh, no, no. I mean, the most was, was the Michael. Right? Michael. Michael pushed him over and he fell over his bike. So the guy can't fight. He's not even been to the, <laughs> the gym. He's got I no muscle mass. Yeah, the reason I ask is because like whenever he went to Portugal with Dan or whatever, like. It looked on, like on his face, there was no intention that he was going to fight Ralph. And I think he knew that oh, the whole no. time. Like, he mm -hmm. he didn't want to fight. He wasn't going to fight. And I just thought to myself, I can't picture him fighting. Because he, he looked like he just had no intention or instinct to do so. And so I was just wondering if you ever knew of any fights that he'd gotten in. No. If I mean, if he did, he'd got his ass kicked. I mean, he's, he's, like I said, he's never been to the gym, let alone been in a fight. 
Like the guy can't, he's like, he can't do a pull up on a bar. How long do you think he's going to last the fight? He doesn't, he, he wouldn't know what to do. He'd shit, his, he'd shit his pants, he'd freeze. Well, he I got grabbed in his face and, and he was scared shitless. And then I didn't know Dan was with him. Like, I didn't know, like, I thought it was just him. Like, I wasn't paying attention to his stream or anything. And so then this big gorilla hits me, you know, in the side of the head. Now, anybody who knows anything about a fight, it's pretty much over then, right? Because you you got yeah. clocked. Um, you didn't see what was going to happen, and <laughs> you got clocked. And I'm on the ground, and I'm like, fuck you while he's hitting me, you know, 15 times in the head. I don't give a fuck. Uh, kill me, bitch, like I'm yelling out in the street. Um, but I didn't know. I thought it was just cog there. So that was my whole understanding. I didn't know he's that big of a bitch. Well, yeah, it was just it was just Dan there, which is which is funny because uh, we mentioned Dan. Nice segue, because uh, Dan is no longer spending much time with Johnny. Uh, not since uh, Johnny said he might as well be the father of his niece, which is Dan's daughter, which I think is literally pissing on someone else's territory at that point. I, I would, I don't know if someone said that about my. My daughters, I, I'd knock them out. <laughs> it's like I'd slap them. I definitely, if I was living with them, kick them out of the house. No, they're my kids. He said, they're what? your kids. They're my he said, kids. He said, he said what? He, exactly? said, he said that, the, that Dan's daughter might as well be his daughter. Meaning what? It might as well be, meaning that it's his kid now. Because he spends money on her, he takes her out to do all the nice things. So he might as well be his kid. <laughs> Yeah, he must just he's a dad now. He's a dad now by proxy. That is such a that's such a weird thing to say, dude. Holy shit. It is bizarre, yeah. Why why do you think he, he would say something like first off, Dan would probably kill him uh if he really wanted to, but second Ooh. off, um I mean that that's not what makes a father, that's not what makes you know, DNA and all that shit. Um but he he wheels her out on stream for weirdos to send presents to and and all this stuff yeah, and for her to say things like um you know i'm not totally innocent you know i've shown my kids on stream etc but like yeah but um, the old kids right they're my kids right they were my kids yes exactly yeah <laughs> that was the point that's, but, that's, that's, that's i mean but looking back Jesus but looking back i wish i i wouldn't have done that honestly. Yeah, yeah, of course um, of course but you know. but yeah, the, the, those, the, that was my child. Um, 100% certified, and you can just look at the face, and you would know. Um, and I won't get into it any further, because, uh, you know, there's still things to be settled there. Uh, but he's trying to claim another man's child as his own. Like, I... Yeah, it's weird. Do you th and look, I, I hate to even go here but do you think he has designs on the child like i mean is that wrong for me to like even well count <laughs> like or, i said like well i said in the last show didn't i, I said he either wants to fiddle the child or he wants to steal the child that there, there, there are two avenues he either wants to be dead so much you'll steal her and make her his some, somehow and that means throwing dan under the bus to make it happen so we can adopt so don't think that is beyond him it's not no um, or, or I mean, I don't even think of the other one. That's well, the truth. I don't there. either. I don't but really I mean, you know, we have a guy with a certain history, and it's like, well, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it, she's too there, young. There is too been old a lot. Him, but like, maybe yeah. he's waiting for it to grow up. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a certain age group he goes for that's under sixteen. But yeah, there was a lot of sixteen-year-olds that he dated, um, and I say that with the inverted commas. <laughs> it's <laughs> like. Because I'm just like, how how many did he lie to us about? How many did he tell us was one age when actually they were much younger? And it, it, it's like you go through it. It's like maybe you're just saying that just to keep his hat like so he wouldn't think about it too much. Because over here it is legal, sixty is legal. Yeah, it it's is. still weird to be 26 even with a 17 year old. I'm just gonna yes. put that out there. It's still fucking weird to date a 17 year old at the age of 26. That's still fucking weird. But like, if that's if we give the benefit of the doubt, but no, no, it's even weirder to be a 26 year old with a 14 year old. Um, well, it's illegal. I guess he's brought up in age. Yeah, it's illegal. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I think that's the part that's really weird. Was, you will accept it. The thing I was harping on earlier, before 
our transmission was cut, um, was he at first denied that this woman, girl, actually, even existed, right? Like, this didn't happen. This oh. is total bullshit. Then, over the last week, he's changed his story to, yeah, she existed, but she was 17. I was whatever age. I think he said 21, but obviously we know he's 26. No, and, no chance he was 21. Yeah, yeah, no chance. And so he, he's changed the story, and and then he even he's confirmed everything, is what I'm saying. Like, hold on. Ten dollars cog is a freak. Throw the book at him. I agree, and I, and I, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll play all these. Just just give me a second. Uh, just just give me a second for those. Uh, I think that was was that Frosty who sent that in. Give me one second. I'll, I'll play all those. But um, how much money was that? That was ten dollars. What do you want to match it? We need to hit the goal no, today. Just... We need to hit the goal today, Dingo. Like uh, I got taken off the air. It had no, it was not my fault. So the way I remember it, Satan took you off the air, and then Jesus <laughs> gave you a boost. <laughs> Jesus put Jesus put okay, you on his shoulders right. and lifted was, you back up. I was up a little hyperbolic, <laughs> maybe, with my statements, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus appeared at a, on a torch. Jesus himself <laughs> you came down you. and said we had to come back on the air. Um, but no, it was actually well, I won't name any. It's, the reasons I'm sort of vague about these tech issues is because they use um, uh, these things to try to dox me and dox what area I'm in, in Merida, etc. And so that's why I'm a little bit vague on the, t on the tech issues, like what they are, what they may be. If it's my fault, I'll say, hey, I can't get it on this air. That's my fault. Um, if it's something to do with the grid, etc., you know, I can't control that. And so that's why I'm a little bit vague on, like, you know, what exactly it is, et cetera. But, you know, it doesn't take a genius necessarily to figure it out. But Cog's a big okay. so. um, We have but, a good question from Chad. Okay. Uh, well, firstly, Grugman in chat says the Mexican line worker's name was Jesus. <laughs> and then <laughs> Guitar Anthony. <laughs> Guitar Anthony said, does Paul remember about Cog wanting to come to the USA and marry some girl? I'm sure he does. Oh, boy, yes. Alenska and I believe Drama Queen were the two. Yeah, and both. And he all flat go to shit because he believed he was going to America that much. He just, he was like, every time he said, well, you got to clean up, he's like, no, I'm going to America. I'm going to go and live in America with, with whoever it was at the time. I was like, dude, be realistic. You've still got to tidy your place up. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to America. That never happened. Uh, yeah, I wish you'd listen. Cog, I better not ever catch you in America, Cog. <laughs> You're not welcome here. Let me ask you this. Why are you so much more well-spoken than Cog? He seems to... I uh, mean, I know the dyslexia or whatever, allegedly or whatever, but, like, he, he seems like a, a chav, as you would say. Whereas, uh, where, where I, where I, when I talk to you, I, I don't feel that way. Uh, you you uh, seem quite coherent and... Um, not of that nature. And handsome. And very handsome. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> I'm older. Uh, probably a bit wiser. I, I also read a lot of books. Uh, I'm trying to culture myself. Oh, you read? Myself. Oh, you read? Okay. Well, yeah, I read. That explains I, it. I, that explains I, it. I read a lot. <laughs> you, you, don't, <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you read a book. Okay. Well, that's more than Cog ever a had lot, gone a lot of A lot of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's more than Cog um had going from what about Machiavelli though? Um I I don't know, he just threw him clean under the bus like he does anyone who disagrees with him. Like he'll he'll block you, but or, or sometimes he makes it he decides to put you on the show and display like this is what'll happen to you if you disagree with me. It's just so fucked. It's like a weird cult. His whole channel's like this weird little cult with all the all the little like wrenches in the chat and like everyone like blocks you if you dare disagree and if you don't block someone then you're in trouble. It's like it's just like what the fuck is going on here? This is so weird. It's just the weirdest thing ever. And Machiavelli he had to be made an example of. Put, put him on the cross and burn him. It's like he's just like, what the fuck? So I think a lot of his chat live in fear of him because 
like I said, I think previously, if you pay to him by PayPal, he gets you details. Yes, so he does. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. and, and he will dox your ass. Don't you better believe it. If you ever want to leave Chicago, like and stop watching, just 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 tune out. Just turn it off. Don't watch anymore. Just just go do something. Anything is better than that. To be honest with you, anything. Literally, clipping your fingernails is better than that. <laughs> just just anything. Watch paint dry. It's it's way more interesting. So yeah, I think that some of them are actually terrified of of anything that would happen to them if they add their speak out against him. Uh, so he spent a lot of time kissing his ass. Um, and, and honestly, they should just leave quietly uh, and never come back. That's what a lot of people have actually done over the years. They've just left quietly. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that too, where they just don't show up anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and then he has Cybertaz, who was homeless last year. I'm not, I'm not making this up, by the way. <laughs> he was homeless, and he was living in a storage unit. Which you're not supposed oh. to do, by the way. Um, but oh, okay. he was living in a storage unit, and he was eating packs of ramen so that he could save enough money to to contribute to Cog's fund. And I'll just say this: you know, we have our seventy gold streak on the line. Power chat that lives, last the Ralph retort, Rumble rants, all that stuff. If if you need your money to eat, don't give it to me. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just say that like live on the air. If somebody had told me they were living in a storage unit and they're still like super chatting me, I would have quietly reached out to them and said, "Hey, look, mm -hmm. save that money uh, for yourself." Uh, but that's not Cog's mentality. No, he doesn't care. He, he doesn't care if you were dying in the street. It, it, it just walk past you and steal your wallet. It's unreal. Uh, and. So he, he's also, and, and this may be a touchy subject, so, uh, you know, I apologize, but he, he's also tried to, to involve your mother uh, in all this, and, um, you know. So. I'm, I'm not. I, I, he's trying to drag my family into this. This is between me and him and Michael, baby. That's it. You can stop bringing my wife into it. She's not done anything to him. It's me and Michael. If you've got a grievance with the ones who made the allegations, with the problem you've got. You've got to face us head on. Stop going outside to other people, try to get whatever, because it's not going to work. I'm not going to throw my family under the bus. As far as I'm sure. concerned, they stay off. I'm keeping that crap off the internet. I'm sure every family's got their own problems. Everyone watching, you got a family, you got your problems. You don't want it on the internet, do you? Neither do I. Right? We have our problems, we have our good times, we have our bad times. But I'm not going to, I'm not Johnny. I'm not going to display it on the internet for shekels. Because that's all he's doing it for. He's literally, he's, he would happily smash my family to pieces for money. And he can fuck right off with that shit. And he saw, you know, the type of show, you know, you were coming on today. And then, like, he went on early to try to uh, rebut the accusations and, and all this. And uh, to me, he just made himself look more guilty. I, I don't know what you think about that, but... Yeah, every, every time, every, you just look at his reactions to anything that's being said, and you immediately think, this is a guilty man desperate. He's desperately grasping at straws. He's trying to keep his house of cards from falling over. That, 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 that's where he's at. It's, he's, he's complete panic mode. And when he's panicking, he actually makes more mistakes, uh, which is good for us because we finally get the truth. But for him, it's not so good because his lies are falling to pieces around him. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I don't understand. So I understand that a lot of his content obviously is based around me and what I say or what I do or this or that. And Ralph did this rant or he's against this person. Like, he just covers me nonstop. Hold on. I'll, uh, Frosty Toad sent let me see if you well. can hear this. I'm currently living in the sewers of New York, collecting cans and participating in bum fights to afford to send you super chats calling Gator and Cog faggots. <laughs> JK. I'm not as no. dumb as Cog's audience. <laughs> Could you hear that, by the way? <laughs> no, I couldn't hear that. He said, uh, Ralph, I'm currently living in the sewers of New York, collecting <laughs> cans and participating in bum fights to afford to send you super chats calling Gator and Cog faggots. Just kidding. I'm not as dumb as Cog's audience. And you know what? The Cybertest guy, I was, I, I, I tuned in for a second earlier. Uh, on his show, this guy gave ten memberships. I think they're five dollars a piece. I don't know. 
Um, but this is a guy who was literally homeless last yeah. year. If you're homeless, look, keep your money. I'm just going to say that publicly. If you're homeless or you're struggling to like maintain uh, like a living condition, um, of course, I want to hit the goal every day and you know, we're on the way maybe to a, a 70 show streak. But if, if, if you're homeless, like that doesn't make me feel good uh, to, to do that. Clouded Trigger sent $1 on Rumble. Was it, wasn't there a funny thing with the, the memberships on, on Johnny's channel, on Cog's channel, uh, where they gave up memberships and they all went to bots? Yeah. Like his, uh, his, his, his entire audience was confused who these people were. And he's, he's been buying that channel for ages. You can check Social Blade. He has exact, like, hundreds and, and 200s of dropping subs and gaining subs, which is always a sign of botting because uh, it's not uneven numbers. It's exact figures for several months. Uh, and the reason why they, they, they lose exact amounts is because it makes it look more organic. So it kind of fools the system. That's kind of how the botting works. But you just check his Social Blade on that channel. Uh, this is really interesting stuff. Uh, how, how long he's been buying that channel for? What's the end for Johnny? Sorry, I said, what is the end for Johnny? There, it, I mean, he. I mean, I don't know. Someone beats him up or something. I, I don't know because even then he'd cry victim. Like I don't think there is an end for Johnny. He he loves the attention. He doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative. Sure. Like I, 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 I don't know how he's ever going to stop. He, the thing is. He may have a diminished audience. It may be like 10, but there are a lot of weirdos in the world that are attracted to people like Johnny because it, it, it kind of normalizes their own behavior, um, which is why they're there. Um, he, he has a lot of lollicons now, I believe, in, in some of his members, which yes. so he's normalizing Gator their behavior. Could, yeah. You have other people who are somewhat degenerate in, in their behavior, they're, they're arrogant assholes or whatever they will be attracted to, to Johnny because he, he's kind of like them. Or, I, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I'm, I'm baffled at the appeal. But at the same time, there will always be an audience uh, for someone like Johnny, unfortunately, um, which, which is enough to keep him going because all he wants is constant validation. He needs constant But it's a validation. very small audience. Oh, and so, like, <laughs> yesterday we interviewed, uh, you know, one of the up-and-comers, uh, Lily, here on the Kill Stream. We're going to have Nick Bricada's exclusive here soon. First interview off all the drama. Um, you know, I do other stuff, right? Like, I, it's, it's not COG every day. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's, that, that's not what I do. Today I felt like it was necessary. Um, but, like, that's not my uh mode of operation uh, but yeah. it is his and so you, you, you're a, you're a variety channel he's yes. just the ethan ralph channel most right. of the time even if he tries to talk about something else you will come up eventually at some point he's he, you are living rent free and it's had so much it's unreal um but yeah he, he will even talk about you off stream by the way i, I had I many times that. He, i i, I I didn't want to even talk about it. A lot of the time, he would just be like, blah, 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 blah. You did well. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> just like, I don't care what your little internet drops. I don't care. <laughs> like, that's where so, it's When at. is the last time you've seen him? Uh, I think it was about four years ago. Maybe five now. Oh, wow. Um, that's yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, it was like yeah. 2020, I guess, when you when you yeah. did the, the crossover or whatever. When, um, when yeah. we told him to fuck off because we had enough of this shit, yeah. He, he likes to go on like he disowned everyone. No, no, that ain't the way it went down. He bloody well knows it. I have witnesses to the fact that I told him to fuck off because he just kept jumping into my, my DM. Like, I'd be chatting on Discord with friends, just, just playing video games. He'd jump in and start giving me shit. I told him to fuck off right there and then. And I don't think I, I don't think <laughs> we I ever went, went through that last that. time, too, about the whole video game. You're not playing video games with me when I want you to. It's like, I mean, it's like shit, kid yeah. shit, right? Like, I. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not even kid shit, like weird kid shit. Um, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm playing a game. Um, he he seemed to be upset that you were hanging with your my now wife. wife. My now wife. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He se he seemed to be upset with that uh, as well, and just very strange. Hey, she's a redhead, by the way. I found out in the oh, chat. Yeah. She's in the chat. She's a redhead. <laughs> I'm also married to a redhead. Oh, it's something about redheads. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I got to kind of think. What can I say? It's at five. It's at five, I'm telling you. But I just don't see, you know, I mean, you can sit here and pick apart everything I say. And, of course, I'm controversial myself uh, in, in certain ways. And it is what it is. But, like... You know, he, he was paid for by certain interests, and we all know that. I won't go into it. Oh, I, I, uh, I think it's actually obvious at this point. To you be know that, with you. right? Yeah, he yeah. was he was paid for by certain interests that were against me, and now that money's not coming in. Um, you know, he he still, you know, tries to grift off that or his insider knowledge or or whatever, and he really doesn't have any though. Is the thing? No, he just. That's the worst part. He goes at people, and it's all just stuff he's pulling out of his ass. He's literally assuming things. And he doesn't know anything about that person. Yes, he doesn't know anything about what they're up to or what they're doing. I mean, he, like, like for example, he thought I still had a bag. He doesn't even know I had a reversal done and it was successful. He doesn't even know that. That's basic shit about my life. And, and I honestly, I, I think he was actually around when I got the reversal, so it's baffling to me that he forgot. <laughs> well, so also, I went off on a rant last night about fucking a porn star before the show, and so he, again, I'm not mentioning any names, but uh, <laughs> he he attributed this person to uh, who was involved, allegedly, whatever you want to throw out there, involved with this, um, you know, as my wife, uh, as them being pregnant. Uh, neither one of those statements are factually correct uh, at all. They, 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 that was not the case <laughs> in either regard. And so he throws this out and it's like, okay, well, no, actually that's not true. Um, sh- but it, but he's, a, he's a serial cheater. Like how dare he stand on any kind of pedestal to be a hypocrite. He's a serial cheater. He cheated on thieves with a girl called Jo, who was some Chinese girl he was seeing. He was also online talking to drama queen. Uh, he's, he's, he also has been chatting up, apparently he's been talking up Raven, I believe, uh, behind what? his wife's back. So, yeah, that, that, that came out recently. Well, you know, we have some recordings of Raven. She decided to go feral and uh, attack the Rafa Mal, which not a good idea. Uh, but we have some recordings, and they, they haven't been published yet because um, they're too big for email, and so they have to go through Google um, Google Drive or something like that. But um, yeah, it did, it did seem like he was kind of kind of sweet on her. Yeah, she rejected him, and then there comes the smear. You can't reject him. You can't you can't reject Johnny. He's such a just a man, uh, truly a, a pinnacle of all humankind. But yeah, and he's very fat he's, now. What happened? Like you, you see my face curry. compared to him. Like I mean, I'm clearly thinner than him. I mean, just look side by side. I mean, you can see his face uh, right on the screen. Um, it's curry. It's I, curry. I know. I, I no, I'll be straight. I used to eat a lot of curry. It put weight on me like absolute crazy. So I stopped eating curry for a long time. I lost weight real quick. But yeah, curry will put the pounds on real fast. But the Indian diet, I don't think Western and are really I do love biryani. I've, I've never been big on curry. I can actually make biryani thanks to my ex-wife's recipe. Um, but like, I, I do love biryani, but even biryani puts the weight on too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, you can only eat so much. Like, you can literally you weigh yourself after and you're like, holy shit, I gained fucking two pounds, three pounds off of eating that this biryani. That bitch hasn't even been relevant since, uh, since Chris Brown beat her up. Nobody even gives a shit about her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just but, kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, I, do I, love I had a question about the about Go the curry. On. I was going to ask you before curry came up. I was going to ask you if you know, does Cog's domicile smell like a typical Indian domicile? Probably. I mean, it's that with the smell okay. of burnt rubbish from the backyard. What do you? <laughs> so, what do you I, think? I, I, Dan's gonna like do. Bad. What do you think Dan's going to do long term? Dan's going to do whatever his wife tells him to do, unfortunately, <sighs> for Dan. It's like if his, you know, she just jump at the he'll say how hot. Let's be honest, who's in charge there? So I reckon unless until his wife gets onto the absolute scumbag around their daughter and does something about it, like nothing's going to happen there. But honestly, if I was Dan's, I would. I would care. I'd have bitch slapped him halfway across the world just for saying that on the internet. 
that he was right, I, more of a father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, want, I, mean, I want him. I'd have actually just pimp slapped him because that's all he deserves at that point. It's just what the hell are you thinking? You know what I mean? It's one of the well, how dare he first off use her for content? So it's not his kid for one. Second off, mm -hmm. um, to claim that he is basically a father to that child when he's not, I mean, he's not the father as Maury would say, he's not the father. Uh, so uh, I, I well, don't know. I guess it's not impotent. Does I mean, I'm, I'm not an impotent man. I don't know how that affects your brain. I mean, maybe that's it. Like he's so desperate. Like, and, I, and he wouldn't, here's the worst part. He wouldn't have a kid just to have a kid to be a good father. No, no, no. He wants a kid for the status symbol. Like in a house, at the marriage, it's all to show off on the internet. Look how, look, I'm a success, guys. It's it's tragic. Now, why doesn't like he it. have a kid? Because he's impotent. I think he's already made that pretty clear. <laughs> he and has. If it was his wife, he's pretty much said that. Yeah. 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 If it was his wife, we'd have all known it was her. So it's got to be him. Like so he would just throw it a clean. Cog bus shooting blanks. Like, oh, well, Cog is shooting well, blanks. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's. it's Considering, I mean, people like to say he doesn't have game, but it's it's not hard to have game when when your game is literally preying on on young impressionable yeah. girls Indeed. with alcohol and drugs and and, and, and taking them out to dinners and, and winding and dining. That's that's kind of his thing. Winds and dines and, and kind of lowers the defenses and then then strikes. So uh, that's also when you have an argument with him or anything. If they ever argue or fall out with him, first thing he does takes him to dinner. Do you think that smooths it over? That just makes everything okay all of a sudden. Everything's just reset. That's how he. That's how he presses the reset button. His relationship. He's done it with every single girl I've ever met. Like that's what he does. It's it's a weird thing. You thought most people would like talk it out, try to stand up on it. Nope, nope. He's gonna take you to dinner, and then everything's fine. That's, that's the big weird. gesture. Yeah, it never works. Yeah. By the way. But uh, not in the long term, anyway. But. Um, let me ask you this. This is going to be a little bit of a screwball. Uh, if you, you don't know baseball, probably because you're English, but no, uh, I play baseball. you know a little bit about baseball. Screwball is rare to say, or knuckleball. How about that? Uh, either one are rare pitches, especially the knuckleball. What is there a way for you to reconcile with Jonathan? Uh, why would I like he's why would I want to like the truth is in the day he's a destruct he's a destructive force with the, the family uh, I can't trust him it's really that simple he lies too much he lies too easy he'll actually try and turn one brother against another he'll try and put wedges between people no I can't trust him as far as I can throw him I won't want him around anything that I have because he'll try and get it like that that's like he'll, if he can't have it, he'll destroy it. Like I, I don't think there is reconciliation here. It's just leave me the fuck alone here. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. You should never have come to the doorstep in the first place. It's all gone horribly fucking wrong for you since you did. And stop now, walk away, and the madness can just end. Just well, like that. That was just, the just next part alone. of my question. Uh and of course we talked about it before, but like um, you know, he kept mentioning you for years uh, and was having him. It's actually Machiavelli, I think, uh, who, who who brought you up. And you're like, hey, yep. stop using my name, dude. Like, I, I'm not involved yeah. with this. Like, leave me out of this. Uh, and then he lost his shit against you. So, like, it wasn't you that initiated this. It was Cog. Yep. Everything I've ever done is in response. I've never actually gone out after him. He will go out after you. I'm literally just responding to him. This is just a response to some bullshit video. He, well, the several bullshit videos he's done over the past few weeks. The fact that he keeps doxing my wife over and over again and her daughter. The fact that the he's now doxing. The thing is even lower, him. honestly. And, and yeah. also your other, like. My, my other daughter. Yeah, my yeah. Baby mother. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> and, and then he's, he's coming up with, I'm accusing people of this. And I, I haven't. You know, what happens behind closed doors? It stays behind closed doors. And, like, that's our own personal beef we have with the family. But no, I'm not, I'm not dragging the stuff on the internet. I didn't want to really drag that's this on the internet when he came out. Rumble. 
Raven's and he kept coming out. Did we crucify James Graves 33 too soon? He kept coming out. And eventually I was just like, like I said to you, if he, if he comes at me and mine, I'll come with your show. And so I did. And that's, 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 if, he, if he'd stopped then, it could have been all over. And he just, he just doesn't know when to stop. He won't let it go. He's... He won't drop it. Like, I don't, <clears throat> like, if he would have dropped this shit with me, like, I, we were talking about politics and, you know, we had Lily on yesterday. We're going to have a Canadian guest on tomorrow. Nick Ricada exclusive coming soon. Like, I don't focus my whole show on COG because I would want to blow my brains out. If, the, if that's how I had to yeah. make a living, I'd rather die. Uh, and that's just the honest truth. And so, yeah. you know, will I focus on him today? Yeah, because he out himself is a complete liar and has confirmed every single aspect of the story that Mike and you have told, except for the 14-year-old part. Now, every single other aspect he's confirmed after lying about for years. So yeah. you have to ask yourself, well, that seems like a lying motherfucker and that she actually was 14 years old. I mean, in my opinion, right? Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's about right. He's lied about everything so far. And he's just trying to keep within the lines of what he thinks is acceptable. Even though what he's done is not acceptable by anyone's standard, he's trying to skirt within the lines. Oh, I was 21, she was 17. That is skirting within the lines. It's still not acceptable for some people. Even his own chat was like, that's still weird to me, mate. Yeah. You know, well, and, you know and, what? And, and, I'm, I'm 18 plus, right? And so if you're 70 and it's 18 plus, I don't give a fuck. If you're 30 and it's 18 plus, I don't give a fuck. Now, it may be weird. It may be ill-advised. It is I, yeah, it's it is, a bit it weird. Is, it <laughs> is ill-advised, by the way. I just want to tell you from my own personal experience. But, um, you know, dipping below, no matter what the age of consent is, dipping, dipping below 18 is... Uh, disgusting honestly i don't i don't know what to say um and you know some people may say that's a magic number or whatever well that's just you know there's plenty of 18 year olds out there paul right uh and so yeah. y you don't really have to do that unless you're a sick fuck yeah basically like the sickest you know, of fucks <laughs> Teenagers will be teenagers. If they were teenagers, you know, I think some people give a little bit of leeway for teenagers to be idiots, basically, um, because teenagers are stupid. Uh, but it's just two teenagers at that point. But when it's a 20 year old man or a 20, 21, 26, whatever, at a teenager, I think it's like a 14 year old. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's really not good. That's really and not good. And even if she was you 17, was it's still it like, what? But anyway, yeah, go ahead, Dingo. I, I didn't even have armpit hair at 14. I was like, literally, I remember I was 14 whenever my first <laughs> armpit hair popped through. It was only on my left side. Three hairs popped through. And I was like, oh, my God, Dad, look. Oh, my God, how cool is this? That's what I was doing at 14. I wasn't, I wasn't being, like, groomed by some 40-year-old man. Yeah, and somebody mentioned in chat, did Raven turn on me? Yeah, she did, because the Twitter geek, and they're crazy as fuck. And, you know, I have some stuff in that direction i don't have personal possession of it yet but i know it exists because it was told to me by a very trusted source i'll say and you know the the shame of it is um you know she she kind of got fucked over by cog i gave her a fair interview i thought it was like really solid and then she was joking in the chat about, oh, it's funny that people think we're dating, da da da, da. And I was never going to date her. Regard no offense to her. I'm just being truthful. Like, she's on the other side of the world. Like, it's she's got two teenage daughters. Like, I'm not, you know, no. Uh, and so she got involved with Twitter Geek. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they're saying shit about me. They're doing this and that. Well... I have my own resources, ladies and gentlemen, and it turns out she was, uh, you know, participating in phone sex and stuff like that with a member of the chat. And, you know, um, I'm me, right? And so if you want to come at me, you better be fully loaded <laughs> because, uh, especially if you have some shit like that in your past and so recent past. And so, uh, yeah, she did decide to come at me, and I don't really understand why. Um, and James Graves, yes, he does seem to be completely vindicated at this point. And she, she's one of these people, 
uh, it's off topic, but she's one of these women who'll say one thing to one guy and one thing to another and like try to make herself out to be a victim. And as much as I say, trust no bitch and this and that, I actually like women too much. And so, you know, she's in the chat. She did a good interview and. A semester 33 uh, said $1 uh, a month. Oh, well. Hope the cancer comes back. I won't say that, but, uh, you know, she did a good interview. And Damn! It's, and it's like, okay, well, you know, I almost want to protect this person, right? Like, okay, somebody's going at her. I'll, I'll say, hey, stop. Don't do this, this and that. Well, it turns out that guy was right. And so, you know, I'll say that on air as well. And I couldn't give a fuck about it. Like, I, I, I would not have started you know, any type of shit talk toward her, except her and her, you know, <laughs> insane boyfriend, I guess now. Uh, Twitter geek, he used to be on my nuts. He's mad I didn't let him become a co-host of the show because he sucks. And so Dingo is not an official co-host, but, you know, sort of. And so... Please. Yeah, sort of. And so... Because me and him get along, even though we fought like cats and dogs on, on occasion. But like I, I that actually gives me more trust in him, if that makes sense, right? Uh and so like he he came on, he sucked, and he was doing clips of my show. I appreciated that. I retweeted him. I know he's still going hard on COG. I think that's good. But um, you know, if you knock on my door, you're, you're gonna get an answer. Uh, and that answer will be coming very soon. So, again, I, it wasn't my decision. Uh, it wasn't my choice. Um, I, I don't actually hate them or anything like that. But, you know, it, it's my job to hit back hard, Paul. You know what I mean? Right? Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm under a position's coming. I don't know anything about No, yeah, it. exactly. Don't take a position. Don't, don't, don't take a position on it. But, but I'm just saying, like, you know, some people are saying some shit, and it's like, oh, here's this audio. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, well, all right, let's just let it be heard. Uh, so that's my position on that. I will say going hard against COG, certified pedophile, uh, is good, regardless of whether, you know, I get along with those people or not any longer. Uh, I, I think it's good to spot like Cog. I think just the lightest of touches sent him into like just a complete spiral. Like this morning, uh, I, I didn't announce that Paul was going to be on the show until this morning and then he just completely lost his shit. Like, I mean, like fucking 20 yeah. tweets about it, right? Like, I... It, it wasn't a secret, but I also just didn't promote it, right? Like, it was just like, okay, here's today's show. And he completely lost his shit. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I, I would, I would uh, say good for them for continuing to go on at, go on at COG, but I would say cease and desist and apologize to me on your hand, hands and knees uh, unless you want to be, like... Um, a subject of ridicule in a major way. Uh, so that, that would be my advice for them. But, uh, in the Ralph and knee. Yeah. Yeah. Bend the knee, uh, and do it sincerely and I'll leave it alone. But if not, it's all coming out. So it is well, what Paul, it is. I have a question for you. Okay. Go ahead. Nope. Okay. Paul. So you grew up in England, same, same place your brother grew up in. You had all these women no. to choose from. <laughs> not the same place, but okay. well, the, the, the same country. Now, why yeah, on earth did, did you decide to settle down with a white, red-headed woman instead of a brown Punjab? <laughs> why? Um, preference. Personal preference, I guess. I, I'm, I'm not into it. You know, it's not my thing. I like the answer. I like it. That's a good answer. What about Pakistani women? The same thing. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> Well, you may not know my history, but I was actually married <laughs> to a Pakistani British, Pakistani British, oh, you, British boy. Pakistani. Yeah, I was. She was actually a really good person. Uh, but, well, Ralph uh, was trying to show the love England. Yeah, I was trying to uh, bleach her, uh, but um, not uh, literally. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, a different situation. You know, she's a doctor now. She's like a learned individual. 
um, was a, actually a co-founder of this show, believe it or not. Uh, and so, um, totally different persona from Mrs. Cog. Um, that being said, yeah, you know, I've dabbled, uh, I've dabbled here and there. Uh, and he's obsessed with, with Nora. That's, that was, is her name. Uh, he's obsessed with her, uh, as well. Like way more than I could ever be as her ex. He always goes up to people's relationships. He always goes up to the wife or girlfriend. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's wild. This is the women. It's, it's really weird. I'll it's get you. On I don't know why that Question is. Question for Paul. I don't What's know if he's just jealous of something. It's bizarre. He always victory? goes for the someone that you've got in your life. Like, he'll go for your wife or your girlfriend. He never really comes directly at you. He'll use those things in your life to get at you. Like, little jabs. Well, yeah, or he's like, oh, you know... I mean, obviously... And people can disagree. We have some, you know, whites only in the chat or whatever. Um, you know, that was that was a tough loss for me because um, that was a really good person that I lost out of my life due to my own actions, really. Uh, so I, I won't put it on her. Although, you know, there's different side, right? You know, it wasn't all on me, but mostly. Yeah. And so. Yeah, he he does go at that as if like I haven't already dealt with that <laughs> personally in my mind already. Like, yeah, I already know. I already know. You're not telling me anything else uh that I don't know. Uh yeah. so but yeah, he, he does do that a lot. Um wh what do you think of the future of his relationship with his Pajit? Um it depends. Oh my because, God. Uh I think she might put up with him for a lot longer. Like she might tolerate him and his nonsense for a lot longer than most others women would ever put up with him, which is most likely where he chose her in the first place. Uh, even though he's in a desperate situation at the time, she seemed like prime victim. Like literally, let him move in within a week and and, and stay there, and then they're married soon afterwards. Um, like it was, she was almost gift wrapped for him in that in that respect. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, it won't be her who kicks him out or makes any decisions on them breaking up or, or divorce or any of that. It'll be her older sister. That's my call on that one. Because she, she does seem to wear one. the pants. Yeah. Yeah. And she's one I think is the only one who could probably convince her sister that this guy ain't the right guy to be with. I know. I get it. You got your hopes up. You thought he was Prince Chum. He's not. He's, he's, he's there, he's, he's, he's literally like a cancer in your house. And eventually, when he runs out of ammo, pulling my own, his own family apart, he'll pull that family apart. And he's already started to. I feel like there is certain threading going on in that family. It's already getting a little tense um, from, what, from, what, like, from what he's telling us. And he tries to gloss it up and make it look all great and good. It's, it's not. There's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff going on there behind the scenes, and he won't be fully aware of it. He's almost completely oblivious of the writing on the wall. So you could write it in the unless you won't see it coming. Um, he never has. Like He always thinks the most positive outcome is whatever is in his head is going to happen. And instead, it usually doesn't. Like So I, I think she'll try to keep with it because she believes in family values. She believes in marriage. And these are important things to her. And she's probably been told by her parents or whatever, you have to stick it out with this guy. But I'm telling you right now, if a, if a baby doesn't appear, the the parents are probably going to lose any kind of support they have for that there's idea. There's not going to be one of those. We know that. But mm. and if it is, it's not going to be his. It's going to be some <laughs> test tube or, you know, some, some or big Dan way. stepping through. You know, oh. he, he, he has oh. <laughs> you think he'll sign Dan up for that? I don't know. Uh, but uh, I see somebody in chat, and they said, uh, "Ralph, this is evidence that uh, no one knows you best." Uh, he always says, talking about me, uh, losing Nora was the biggest loss for you. Um, well, so, and again, not to get too uh, sentimental about it, but, uh, you know, I went through a lot of things and we, we really clicked. We really did love each other. Uh, and we don't now, <laughs> uh, but, um, it, it was like the reward for, for all the, for all the bullshit i don't have i don't have a problem wearing my heart on my sleeve uh and and telling you what it's all about um it, it was a it was a tough loss one of the toughest losses in my life and it led to 
the four years after that you've seen just absolute insanity. Uh, and so, yeah, um, I, I still think she's a good person. I haven't talked to her in a couple of years, a uh, year or two. Um, but she's a great person. And so, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a loss for me. And so I, I don't like being vulnerable in that way. Doesn't, like that doesn't upset me you know what i mean like that's just me telling you the truth um that was a big loss and i was mostly responsible for it so you know it is what it is she helped co-found this show if you go back and look at some of the old clips she was just as funny as me she like she was biting wit uh she was hilarious um you know not you know uh, i won't say none of this but a lot of this doesn't happen without her uh and so i i can't I can't uh, wipe that from the record, and I wouldn't want to. So maybe she would want me to. <laughs> but we all fuck but, up. You know, yeah, it's good to acknowledge up. where you fucked up. You know, yeah, a lot of people up. don't. Johnny doesn't. Johnny doesn't acknowledge he fucks up. Not really. Uh, no, never really. Hey, y'all remember uh, the time? Uh, remember the time he got on stream and he was drunk and he was puking into a plastic bag? You remember that? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a bad one. Uh, nice. And then he tried to recreate it over and over again. It just didn't have the balls go through it again. I thought that was funny. <laughs> I remember somebody <laughs> playing it. I don't remember who it was. They just kept playing the puking sound, and it was the most guttural oh, vomit I would ever heard in my Ooh. life. Oh, he, and by the way, this guy's clarifying. He's saying Null said that was the biggest loss for me. I, I don't know if it was the biggest loss for me. Uh, it was a loss, though. Um, and they also have this thought in their in their head that like i had children to spite null because his dicks broke uh and he can't have kids which is not true like i always wanted to have children i always wanted to uh you know propagate my dna uh, and my legacy well, of course you do, yeah. right like that's just you know i would say most men want that right uh and now it's it's come with its well, own it complication good, yeah well yeah it feels, it feels good, good to let go of a load inside of a woman uh, sure it feels really nice. <laughs> sure exactly but i mean like that wasn't the it like they had this head cannon that it was because oh no doesn't have a family and he doesn't have any kids and and ralph did it for this reason and no i wanted to have kids anyway um now that came with its own complications especially when you become estranged uh from the mothers of those children uh and you know it is what it is and um i think others can testify <laughs> uh to how that goes um but um i don't regret it i don't regret it at all and uh both my children you know what's crazy ralph uh, blessing go ahead like i have a good relationship with my wife's dad and whenever whenever i asked him for his daughter's hand in marriage, you know, you have to do that in the South. You have to ask, to ask permission. Yeah. It was literally, it was literally whenever me and I went to prison in Texas to visit him because he was in prison. You tell me this. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, he got three in a vehicle. Yeah, that's bad. You shouldn't do that. One was on a four wheeler and one was in a. You're breaking up, Dingo. <laughs> Dingo, you're breaking up. Uh, Let's go through a tunnel. You're going through a tunnel. You're going through a, a, a darker neighborhood, maybe. I don't know what's going on, but you're breaking up. Uh, go ahead. No, nah, you sound like shit, so. <laughs> no. Okay, fuck it. Now, now you sound okay. Go ahead. Anyways, I was just saying, he got fucked over in Texas. And I had to ask him if I could marry his daughter when he was in a jumpsuit. He was like, son, I don't give a shit. I was like, all right, awesome. <laughs> he, he, goes, he, goes, he goes, as long as you don't plan on ending up in one of these fucking places, then yeah, go ahead. I'm like, all right. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't plan on ending up in fucking jail, then yeah, good deal. <laughs> uh, no big deal. Um, I'm trying to think of any more questions. Let me, let me look through the... To the list here, sure. I, I think we hit most of the topics, what, honestly. But like, wh what have we not hit that you would want to hit? Uh, what I think is really weird is, you know, he just constantly covers your stuff. Do you know the one video he hasn't covered of yours? Which one? The interview. The interview with me. 
Yes, I noticed that. The interviews with me and Mike, those are the ones he won't go so near. He, want, he, he likes showing hit. this certain clip where I was fucked up and drunk and saying a lot of bullshit, honestly. Uh, and so he likes showing that over and over. Uh, but he won't cover your mm -hmm. interview. He won't cover Mike's interview. Yeah, it's, it's weird, all right? But the he'll cover every single other, other thing. Team. Like, even me getting into, like, arguments with other streamers that has nothing to do with him at all. Like, he's he's yeah. like the Ethan Ralph crooked beat beat reporter right like that's that's what he is pigeonholed himself as and that's what he'll always be and so you know i don't want to be that right like the cog yeah. crooked beat reporter like first off okay lower than the law second off like that's not the way to do like a career that could expand you know and I don't have to compare the kill stream with Cog Live or Cog World or whatever the fuck he calls his show now. Like you and again, this is not bragging, this is just the truth. You look at what I have put out just in this past week, month, much less the past ten years. Compared to COG, it's not even close. Like, we made internet history. I'm a part of internet history, and he is, at best, a footnote. And there's but a reason for that. Media. Yes, yeah. And, like, he has nothing. And so, I... Again, if if I like was like on the cog beat every day, I, I just couldn't do that because it's boring to the audience for one. Uh, it's why he only has, you know, 90 viewers max or whatever. And it's why, you know, our viewers fluctuate. It could go from 400 to 1,000, whatever. Um, but we do different stuff here. We cover politics. We do debates. We, we have interviews. We're going to have some more soon. Uh, the Ricada exclusive, like I'm doing stuff that like he's not capable of doing, Paul. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, and he claims it's because uh, Ralph sucks up to so and so, and Ralph defends so and so, and they're scared of coming on my show. And actually, it's because your show's a non-entity, uh, and it doesn't matter how many people watch my show. My show is highly influential, regardless. And yeah. you know, that's not me bragging. That's just me telling the truth. Right. Uh, and also, yeah, I do know how to play the game a little bit better. Right. Uh, in terms of getting people on the show and treating them fairly and giving them a fair hearing. And he doesn't understand that. Uh, and, and he never will. So, um, he definitely in for Paul before he goes. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Dingo. Uh, okay. So, so Ralph mentioned. Um, somebody said they should call the cops on you for harassment. Is they there say that, yeah. just for clarity's sake? Is there any law that he could call the police and try to exploit for harassment for you coming on a stream and telling your experiences with him? Is, are you in danger of that? No. However, okay, good. Uh, we have actually made a. Uh, he has actually. He's now actually officially a stalker. Uh, we made a police report. Uh, they really? came around. They saw him in videos. Yeah, he's officially a stalker in, in Manchester. We have a crime number for him. So if he comes around, we can just call 999. It'll be picked up uh, if he bothers me at all. <laughs> uh, he's been, he's been he's about harassing in the lead. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's can't come around here at the end of the day. So there's uh, because, a, you're I mean, telling me now was, there's a report filed on COG that if he comes yeah, around your house, comes around you or your family, he will be picked up by police and arrested. Yeah, because he basically made a threat on, on record. We've actually got the archive. He, he said he was slicing mine and Michael's throat. Um, and the police took it as such. So, <laughs> yeah, mean, he's not allowed around here Pretty blatant, right? Like, I don't... <laughs> Who's Michael? That's his brother. Who's That's Michael? his other brother, Mike. Uh, he's been on the show before, too, Dingo. You might not be familiar with the whole, whole history. No, I remember. I, I, I remember. I remember. That's what I said earlier in the chat. Like, could you imagine being such a piece of shit that not one, but two of your own brothers <laughs> like just dislike you so much that they talk about you on stream because you're that much of a problem how insane is yeah. that it's wild it's cog's life story now uh ask master and uh i'll i'll uh step away for a second then i'll come back and we'll finish up with you but oh wait hold on a sec anonymous, anonymous says sent five dollars imagine cog trying to get curtis yeah, exactly. on for an interview 
Wonder what he would ask. Imagine him. Cog trying to get Curtis Yarvin on for an interview. Like, I mean, it's not just Yarvin. Like, I mean, you look at the list of interviews that we've had on the show, and it's not even me trying to toot my own horn. It's just the truth. Like, he can't compete in any way whatsoever. So his cope is, oh, they're scared to come on. Yeah. Da, da, da. Like, I, I don't know, man. Ralph, I, I run I a real show. Cog show. Well, nobody would like. <laughs> I run a real show and he doesn't. I've interviewed thousands of people, well, at least a thousand people, and he hasn't. And um, I've certified my chops in that. Yesterday, Lily was on, and people were wanting me to trash her and go at her. I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all. She was nice to me. I was nice to her. We asked some challenging questions, right? Like, I didn't take it easy on her, but. You know, I, I have a certain reputation for a reason <laughs> because I've interviewed all these fucking, you know, hundreds, th you know, to a thousand people. And so, you know, it's it's something that you're somewhat born with the ability to talk to people, but it's also a skill and Cog doesn't have that skill. You can build it up, right? Like I've gotten better over the years, but like he he doesn't have that. Uh, Assmaster says, question well. for Paul. And he he doesn't right. He's got the same disease I see other people have, where they have to interject and they have to get their points in. They have to try to run uh -huh. down the interview guests. That's not what an interview is about. An interview is about learning about the interview subject, right? There you it's, go. it's not about taking them down. Now that doesn't mean let them off scot free, and you know there may be some challenging questions. It's about letting them answer in their own words and. The audience makes the, the decision on whether or not they believe them or like them, et cetera. Yep. Um, it, it's not about me. I get the chance to talk hours and hours a day all the time. And so I like to let the, the guests speak for themselves. And I, I feel like I've done that with you tonight. And, and I always try to do that, right? Like I don't put words in people's mouths. I don't attack people for no reason. And some people do, and it can get over. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a like a tactic that doesn't work, but I just don't do that. Uh, Assmaster33 says, question for Paul, what's your favorite Screwdriver album and why is it Hail Victory? Uh, is what he said. <laughs> it must be Hail Victory. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dingo, talk to Paul for a second. I'm going to come back and wrap it up. Uh, and, well, not wrap up the whole show because we have more to go, but uh, wrap it up with Paul. But I'll let Dingo get in one fi final query while I step away. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever asked you the famous kill string question, but uh, if you had to choose one person to meet, would it be Hitler or Prince and why? Hmm. That's actually a pretty good question. Uh, probably Hitler. Uh, because okay. you okay. hear a lot of you hear a lot of evil stories about it. But this idea that I don't like to believe anyone is a true monster, so to speak. Um necessarily I'd, I'd like to i'd like to just talk to him just see where he's at maybe like steer in the right direction <laughs> away from what he was about to do or whatever you know it's like maybe, I, maybe I, I get it i get it you get a problem with these people but that might be a little extreme dude i, I think oh, just 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 run it back a bit just run it back a bit you know maybe go a different <laughs> angle or something i don't yeah, um, see, Ralph has asked that question. I don't know who came up with it, but Ralph has asked that question to like everybody he's ever interviewed. And, I mean, doesn't matter how big they are, you know, like PhD person, okay. they get asked that question. It, it's a pretty cool question, and it's nice to be able to hear people answer the why part. I like that. Well, arguably, Hitler is more famous than Prince. So oh, you asked him the question? Right. Did you really ask him the <laughs> Hitler or Prince question? That's famous in Killstream yeah. more, by the way. Um, <laughs> And a lot of, I'll say more people answer Hitler than Prince and they use the same justification. Well, it's like, well, it's huh. Prince. It's like, well, Hitler, you know, is one of the most infamous people of all time. And so yeah. I'd rather ask Hitler a few questions uh, than Prince. But some people do, I won't say cuck out. They just take the other option and say Prince just to be safe. Um, but we had Lily on yesterday and she said Hitler. Uh, so... You know, I would. <laughs> yeah, she if did, I'm answering, she? My, she did. She said Hitler. Yeah, and if I'm answering honestly, I'd have to say Hitler too. Because I mean, what are me and Prince going to talk about? Like <laughs> fucking musical composition? Or what, like what? What the fuck? Like you know, no, a, a few questions I could ask. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I could ask. <laughs> I could ask Hitler a, a few questions. I'd like to hear the answers to. Uh, and like, how did you come up with the concept of the freeway? Hitler? Like, <laughs> did it come to you in a dream? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, if I if I'm answering for myself, I'd say Hitler. But I, I do understand people saying Prince because it's like it, it's it's not. I called it a litmus test yesterday. It's not really a litmus test. It's just more of like. Um, I mean, the obvious answer is Hitler, to be honest with you, right? Like, but, you know, some people, you know, they don't want to say that. There's, there's a lot to ask you about, like, yes, why that's were what you I'm saying. to the royal family? And, 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 and hold on a minute, what's this Disney stuff about? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit to ask Hitler about. It's, and Operation Barbarossa and like everything else. Like, those why did you invade <laughs> Russia? Like, I mean, like, there's, <laughs> there's a million different things to do. Here. <laughs> could ask Hitler about and Prince. It's like, okay, you know, why are you better than Michael Jackson in your opinion? Like, like I don't, I don't know. Like, I'd run out of questions pretty quickly uh, with Prince, but uh, with Hitler, I would not. Now, Paul, what are your final words here on Cog, and uh, okay. what would be your suggestions for him? My final words uh, on the whole Cog situation is he keeps asking us for a name. Now he's admitted the girl exists, and she's very, very real. Yeah. Surely he knows the name. It's not on us to give a name. It's not guessing games time with Johnny. It's literally you either come forward with a name, or you just look guilty, dude. It's really that simple. Well, he you knows the name. For a reason. He yeah, of course to. he does. Yes. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not playing games. I think Michael may, or may, may be close to actually having an actual IQ name because he said it reminds him of one of my other brother's ex-girlfriends. Uh, but still, the onus is actually on Johnny at this point. He's admitted the girl exists, admitted the meal happened, admitted we met her. Now he's, he needs to say a name. It's he, like, it's on him. He's the, he's the one who made the name so important. We didn't. We didn't actually make that's the right. point. He, it was like, what's the name? Because he said, you don't have a name. name? And then a name yeah. was put forth. And then, and so he, he's, he's admitted the girl was real since then. And it's like, okay, yeah. well, you have the name. You have the chance to exonerate yourself. Mm -hmm. And... You're not doing he it for doesn't. what reason? Mm -hmm. Probably because you're guilty. It's interesting. Isn't it? mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion. Uh, but, uh, you know, he has every chance to exonerate himself, and he's yet to do so. Uh, so, yeah, yeah I, I would agree with that 100%. Um, and I would thank you as well. Uh, I'm sorry for the tech issues today. Uh, yeah, I see, don't worry about it. I, I see the usual faggots crawling about it uh, on Twitter. I mean, the internet went down for like an hour and a half, and I'm back. And we have more viewers than we had before. So, like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, would it have been optimal for everything to work out, you know, perfectly? Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm that type of guy, and uh, we made it through, and we came back, and we're here now. And I don't give a fuck about a hurricane. I fuck all you motherfuckers. Uh, the Grass Ninja sent $2 on Rumble. Cog likes kids because like him, they are also jobless. Oh, Grass Ninja says Cog likes kids because like him, they are also jobless. Uh, is what is what think, he said there. I think it's more they have the same mentality. It's like a Michael Jackson thing. Yeah. Michael Jackson, there's some dispute over whether he was set up or not, too. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll yeah. say that, but... But, uh, yeah, Cog's a certified pedophile, in my opinion, uh, and in the opinion of his two brothers. So, even more important than me. So, we'll see. You know, he has a chance. Like, he could blow this out of the water, and he could make me look so bad by just naming names and proving that this person was of a certain age, whatever. Um, but I don't hold, I, I won't hold my breath for that, Paul. Uh, I, I won't hold my breath. I just, I'd honestly prefer to just move on and just leave us a hell alone. Yeah, you know what? That would it's be the been best no choice for him. coming after us at all. And it's, not gonna, it's just going to get worse if he carries on. He needs to just go his own way, pretend it never happened, hopefully try and ride it out, just go quiet on the whole thing. People will ask you, they're going to ask you, but if the smart play is just don't don't say anything, just keep quiet, go under the radar, maybe be a little quieter, don't start fighting with people on Twitter and causing crap, go a little quiet for, for about a year or so, then it'll all blow over, and then, then you can come out of the woodwork and do whatever nonsense you want to do. But right now ain't the time, mate. You just, you, you've already owned yourself so many times right now, you're just going to keep owning yourself over and over again. Now is the time to just accept the L and fuck off. When he especially needs to stop fucking with you and your wife and uh, you know mm. her kid and y'all's kid. My, uh, wife, my wife ain't got nothing to do with this, really, at all. He came at me and mine. It's about me, dude. My okay. wife can't convince yeah. me to do anything. I am a man of my own mind. 
right? And if you come off the what is mine, I will make you rue the day you did. Well, I think he's ruining it. <laughs> ruining it and ruining it. And I'm sorry for it. Go ahead. Uh, I just think it's a, it's a good question, I think. So, okay. So, what with you and your brother beefing like this and your other brother and cog beefing, what do your parents, like, do your parents fall on a side? And if not, what, what have they said about it, if anything? I think my mom wants to just stay out of it. She's got enough shit on with being, like, old. And, and my father's passed away. So that's also probably not helping. I think she was be left uh, out. Okay. Of she, I think she'd rather Johnny wouldn't be dragging her into this at all. Like I'm making a decision, make a choice, me or him, and this and that, which is also yeah. just like tasteless. Like you know what? I know. Um, obviously, I'm st I'm stating the obvious here, but like um, I, I see another Avon super chat. Hold on. Five dollars on Avon. Home. What's up? Who could have possibly known Cog was a pedophile except for anyone who has ever looked at him once? <laughs> he said, "Who could have possibly known Cog was a pedophile except for anyone who has ever looked at him once?" Uh, is what uh, Avon said there in the chat. <laughs> He has got a look, hasn't he? He does. The cap, too. Oh, That's the no, pedophile no. cap. Is it not? Like, I, I, I don't know. No, why does, why does he wear the newsboy cap? cap? I, I don't understand I think that. He's going bald, maybe. He may be going bald on top. He's trying to hide it. Uh, maybe, I, I but like, know. so I wear hats all the time, but, but like, like, I'm not going bald. Like, you can see my hair right here. And so just, some days I, I, I don't wear a hat just to prove that. Um, but like the whole newsboy it, cap it, thing, and he's fat as fuck. He's fatter than me now by far. Like, I mean, look at his face. I mean, you can look at my it's, face it's, and his face and tell he's fatter. But anyway, go ahead. It, it hides his gray hair and his balding spot, I guess. But. Like, do you just own that, that shit? Like, that's part of being a man. Up. Like, what the fuck? Like, the flag cup looks like a gimp. You look like a gimp wearing a flag cup. Who the fuck wears one of those things? That's what I'm saying. Like, shoe, I, have shoe gray hair. Or something. I could easily dye my hair, and I've thought about it, but like, no, that's part of like being a man. And by the way, it gets you plenty of pussy. Like, women like uh, salt and pepper, uh, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, that, that doesn't uh, lose you any points. Now, if you go fully bald, you know, that could lose you some points, but, um, I, I I don't hide it because I think it looks good, honestly, right? So I don't know what what his deal is uh, with that, but you know he's happily married, of course, so he doesn't have to worry, Paul. Oh, that's right. It's just 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 own it. Stop hiding it. It's, it's, you're not. You just look stupid with the cap. It's not Peaky Blinders. Fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah, does he have the razor in the cap like Pinky Blinders? I've seen every season except like the last one or two. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big Pinky Blinders fan actually. Um, but oh yeah, it was good until you started realizing Tommy had like a shit ton of plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good until it wasn't good. Then I was like, oh god, yeah. <laughs> you can never defeat this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Plot armor is the exact term for it. Uh, and then the Oswald Mosley thing, and I was like, okay, all right, you know what, all right, whatever. Um, but um, I still haven't seen the last season. What's her name? Died. I think uh, Peggy was her name on the show. I forget her name as an actress. Spoilers. Huh? <laughs> It's oh well i mean she died in real life she's dead like i mean i'm sorry to spoil that oh, for wow. people, but like she's actually <laughs> I, know, I, I just thought you meant in the show no Shit. she died in real, real life bad. no she's dead <laughs> like, as a person so Whoa. i don't remember a peggy i don't remember a peggy who are you talking oh, about not, it is peggy right uh hold on who is it is it tommy's wife no it's his aunt i think it's his aunt right oh uh, polly you talking about polly yeah, I might have said it wrong. Let, let me look it up. Uh, yeah, Polly. They yeah, Polly. Paul, yes, it's, short. it's Polly. Yes, yeah, Polly. I said Peggy, but yes, yeah, because I'm mixing up with oh, Matt. Man. But yeah, she's she dead. Really good. She's awesome. Um, but she's dead. So uh, in Damn. real life. So uh, sorry if I spoil that for anybody. <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I didn't mean to, but I mean she like she's literally dead. So she she could not carry on in her role. So so uh, my apologies <laughs> if I spoiled that for anybody. Oh wait. Um, Geek says, I would like to ask Paul a couple questions. I sent a request on Twitter. Okay, you know what? And Cog hates Geek, so just real quick, I know, I know I'm late uh, and taking up your time here tonight. It's fine. Um, but uh, Geek, go ahead, unmute yourself. Hey, what's up? Go ahead. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Paul, how's it going, man? So I had a couple questions. Uh, so 
I remember uh, Cog one day like coming into a a Google Hangout with me, Tonka, Vamp Candy, all sorts of shit. It, it was probably around, I would probably say somewhere between 2015, 2016 era. And he was like boohooing about like not getting invited to some sort of family event or gathering. Like, does that sound familiar to you? No. No? Okay. Well, shit. Well, I guess that went nowhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Who was boohooing? Cog was boohooing. He said about not getting getting invited to some type of family gathering. And you may, may really it may, it may have been true. It may not be true. You may just not remember. I don't know. I, I wasn't there for it. It's been a long. Uh, those names are like they're ancient history. Yeah, that was like thing, 2018. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. It's very new to the whole thing, and him constantly putting his life on display and wearing out his sleeve on the internet was not uncommon for him. Uh, if he was, if he felt he was in private chat, because he hadn't quite got to people record private chat, so he started doing it when he figured out that's what people do. So it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. I would ask you, Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he was like just denying it. it like, and then uh, I also remember some, like when you brought up the fact that you know your dad had a vasectomy, right? And then like the last two kids, yeah. it's questionable whether or not they belong to to your dad or not. Because uh, he, he had this one thing where he, 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 I remember it. I just so remember him like saying something about being adopted. Like, was there ever like an adoption process or, or no, it, it just no. like, it was just like, yeah, we got him now. No, no, my mom definitely carried him. No, he, you know, okay. I, was, I was 10 years, 10 years old when he was born. So yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely All come right. from a mom. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not went denying. To, who, who went to the hospital? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, like, maybe so. your father adopted him. Like, uh, like I have a, a stepsister. And my my dad. No, 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 no. He's straight up from my mom. He's, 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 he's from know, your mom, mom, is what you're saying. You don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, who who does? Yeah, I'm not denying. Right, right, yeah. Who does? Yeah. I could be not from my dad for a while. You're not trying to throw your dad on the bus either, but like, who no, does not for no, sure? No. But we do know he had a vasectomy. Is that true? That, that, see, that's the only thing we'd ever bring into question. Like, it's hard to take that kind of information in and not like have raised some kind of doubt. It'd be, I think, uh, I wouldn't be being very honest with myself if it didn't raise doubts within me. I mean, I may be completely off base here. And it may be he's complete from a dead side uh, as as well, but I I don't know. I I want to sleep, but it does. It's not it does irregular that down. those things fail. They yeah. fail all the time. True, yeah. No, true. They, no they could, could have be. failed. Yeah, he could, yeah. he could, I mean, he could just be some weird deformed sperm that, that created him instead. I mean, that, that's going to be on the realms of possibility. <laughs> right? Does he look different than the rest of you guys at all? Like, do you, do you well, they, just like catch him from an angle and go like, hey, that motherfucker looks like the milkman. That a few of us have, have been like, he doesn't really look like the rest of us. And even girlfriends that we've had in the past have commented on that. That there's certain distinct differences. He's got very much my most features, but not many, many of my dad's. Mm. So it's always been like a bit us. of a. Is that, is that, is that be the same, maybe? Um, and it's, 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 but yeah, go ahead. It's been, it's been, it's been several girls. It's not just the current wife I'm with. She's so obsessed. No, no, there have been several women I've been with. They're like, he doesn't fit. Like they'll meet Michael and go, yeah, yeah, he looks just like you. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he, you can tell there's a, the similarities there. They'll, they'll meet the other ones. They're like, yeah, yeah, they all look kind of like you. Then they'll meet Johnny. Like, hold on a bit. Mm. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't fit. He's, 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 he's the wrong build. He's, he's the wrong height. He's the wrong face shape, everything just seems off. The hair color, everything. It's like, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like... So you're saying he's the Temu Harrison? I, I don't... I, I, I don't... I, I'm not, I'm not, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> like, also, the whole fucking kid thing is a little bit off, too. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll leave that there. But, uh, Geek, what else you got? Oh, oh! I, I was listening back, and then I was like, "Oh man, maybe I can try to catch Paul." But hey, uh, about the thing, the thing I was saying about the whole uh, uh, Thomas Ellington thing, with, like his reason for hating Cog. Well, that all started. CRP recorded 
his wife come in there and talk about how he's sticking up the fucking chair with his nasty ass and he's going to take a shower. And it got a lot of traction. Yeah, uh, and with with CRP playing that con- that that recording, and then Kong was like, "Well, you know what? In it, I recorded the rest of the conversation. How about I play that for you? I will, I will." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That is the most stereotypical English accent I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> and so, he his, so he threw his friend under the bus for a little extra fucking clout and destroyed his entire fucking show that he had. It was him, Tom Zellington. Uh, uh, Ag Luck and I think uh, oh who's that big fat bastard that hung out with AI? So got Chris. Uh, no 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 the big fat but I'm I, failure. You're confusing big fat bastards. No, that's a different big fat bastard. Uh, 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 Esau. Oh, God, uh, okay, as I was say, I'm a former big fat bastard, so <laughs> I, 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 I lose my track here, but. Uh, yeah, no, you all lose I, your I, weight, though. I noticed that. You're yeah, good. yeah, you're yeah. Good. I mean, I'm skinnier than him. I mean, look at it. Uh, Cox sent ten dollars. You wankers are just spot. jealous of my fresh ink in it. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll play all these after. Just give me, just give me a second. I, I want, I want to wrap this up. Um, and I want to geek. You got anything else? Uh, also, the tattoo on the hand right there is yeah. also, from what I understand. What pedophile? What pedophile did that tattoo on that part of their hand? Uh, from that, is that I, I've heard that because uh, Jeff Holliday's got that same pedophile symbol, right? Yeah, on his does. hand, right there. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm just saying. That's been a name I haven't heard for a while, uh, but uh, yeah, he, he does. I have to say, uh, and apparently the guy was watching anime videos while he was tattooing Cog's hand. I don't know. That's not that. I, I don't have any tattoos. I thought about getting a tat here or there, you know, Memphis, M Town, or Killstream, or whatever, uh, but I just never have. But I definitely wouldn't want my tattoo artist to be like focused on a fucking video while they were tatting, tatting my hand. Uh, or, it was a basic bitch. Uh, it's so basic. It's like he could do it in sleep. It's like, oh God, here we go. He's one of these well, yeah, you're right about shit. that. Honestly, he basic didn't have to pay much. Is no effort, yeah. Zero effort, but. It, you're right, honestly. The guy didn't have to he pay much spent attention. Two hundred so pounds easy. on that, by the way. Like, Which is like for, for, like, for, right? for well, instance, this is like three hundred dollars, basically. Uh, U.S. dollars, uh, two seventy four or some shit. Well, like that. well, well, what's it's, next it's up? Like a, is it's like a twenty pounds. Go ahead. Everybody's crying about this uh, co- this Robocock helmet, right? And he's like, I've got oh. responsibilities and whatnot, and uh, I can't do it because I've got responsibilities. Well, you got time to go raise money for a fucking shitty tattoo and go get that done, right? Like, so, I don't know. Priorities, maybe? Uh, it's fucked. Like, I, I mean, the Robocop helmet would make him look like a complete retard, but on the other yeah. hand... It would be kind of sick, you know what I mean? Like if he wore that Robocog helmet every show, like that would kind of be. I mean, I want him to wear it because I know it's <laughs> uncomfortable as fuck. Oh, this dude. guy, he's, 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 like after two shows, he's gonna have scratches gonna on his forehead, oh, and his dude. face, sweaty. Yeah. Imagine doing like a four or five hour stream with that fucking helmet on. Like yeah, it's bad it, enough with the fucking like, sunglasses it'd be like on. A watch. Like, shit, yeah, oh, it yeah. stinks. Dude, oh god, it smelled like his wife's pussy. Uh, disgusting. Uh, so, oh, uh, no, wait a minute. I had to take a low blow there. So. Sir, I'll have you know that my wife, my wife's vagina, is smell very good, sir. Yeah. Sir, sir, sir. My wife's vagina. <laughs> 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 All right, geek. What else you got? Uh, no, nah, that's it for me. Thank you, brother. But, Paul, keep up with the good work. Keep keep slamming that fucker down every time he pops his dumb little fucking face up. Appreciate you getting <laughs> in, Geek. Later. Later, brother. All right, now, Paul, finish it up. Say whatever you want to say yeah. here at the end. Um, I'm just, I've, I've, I've got to be on another live stream in about seven hours. <laughs> Uh, AGC is doing something, and I'm going to be uh, there to really uh, a judge. Yeah, yeah, he's he's back. Oh, he's judging uh, the music. Uh, you know what? Fuck, I'm judging the music. Is going to be for that too. funny as fuck. I, uh, I could have missed that, so I'm going to be there in about seven hours from now. So wish me luck. <laughs> well, <laughs> so. I wish you luck, and I thank you for sticking with me. I know we had the outage and all that stuff, and um, you know we could have done a rain check, but uh, it came back just in time. Uh, for us not to have to do that and you stuck with us uh, this whole yeah. period so thank you so much the second appearance on the kill stream and you know for 
I hate Cog. I hope he dies, honestly. But um, that being said, like I hope you don't have to get involved with it too much further past this because it's just like, I know. distasteful, it's right? Stupid, yeah, it's yeah. getting stupid and gay. And like, you know, at the end of the day, he probably doesn't see it like this, but you guys are brothers. And like, he should, even if he hates you, like, he should just let it drop. It makes him look bad. Yeah. Uh, not it's not you. That, it's, it's, there's no way this ends the way he wants it to. Yeah. It, it won't. It won't. You just got to just accept it for what it is. And just, walk just, away. just take it. Like, okay. Focus on other things. Yes, just you guys don't get along. Up. Probably never gonna get along. Now, there's two options. He could work to fix things, or he could just drop it. Or there is a third option: continue on with idiocy, uh, and that is the well, worst option. <laughs> the problem is the idiocy is evidence. You are recording evidence that I will have. Like for any any authority that might want to have it, it's really that simple. All your threats, all all, all the the harassment, all, all the uh, the constant doxing, for example, these things are illegal, and we have evidence of them. In and the I'd UK, rather, they're explicitly illegal. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'd rather not have to go through a full court battle. It will be about oh, your reputation. No, it will be about you actually committing crimes. So, no, I'd rather not go for my brother with that. We have plenty for that. I think it should be enough to be forced. We've got the stalker thing, the harassment thing that should keep you away from me, like, physically. So, I'd rather not. Well, that was the hilarious thing to me today. There, <laughs> this Super Judge VHS, who I have everything on, by the way. I won't I go got, into that. I got, but they're like, oh, got, you should go to the police, Cog, and uh, demand uh, proof of this or else charge him with harassment. It's like, dude, you're already on the hook. I didn't know this beforehand, but it's like, oh, you're already on the hook for harassment. Like, you better stay away from the police, and you better stay away from Paul, and you should probably shut your fucking mouth. Uh, but, you know, hopefully i got doesn't. better things to do. I've got a lot better things to do. To, I've got real-world things to deal with without his internet bullshit. I, I just, I'm done with it. Just, just leave me out of it. I asked, that's why I asked in the first place. You should have just left it there. Instead, we've had this stupid fucking drama. And I, 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 I never wanted. But you just, you just don't know what He kept bringing your name up. up. He started all this. Like, it's, it's just factual part of the record. Like, he kept using you as a defense against what Mike was saying. Mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, look, just can you leave me all this? Like, I'm not involved. Yeah. And then that caused him I'm to completely to him. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. He'll throw you onto the bus. He then actually went and did that. So my prediction on the Machiavelli thing was uh, completely accurate. Maybe that's why he was so annoyed. Oh, poor I Machiavelli. I tried to tell him to, but whatever. Uh, he's not the brightest bulb in the box either. But, uh, you know, it, it doesn't take Einstein to figure out what Cog was going to do. Um, and that's what no, he did. No, really. so, he's uh, been so many times. Tell people where they can find you if you want to. Um, and I'll leave well, it there. Um, I'll be on the Juice's uh, channel uh, uh, within seven hours from now. Oh boy, eight, eight o'clock my time. I don't know what time it'll be in, in uh, America, but I uh, will be judging some cool it Should be around one there. or so, yeah. Uh, outside of that, not, not really do much. I'm on Twitter. You want to follow me there? I'm usually covering gaming stuff. Not really Johnny. Most of the time, it's mostly just what's cool. Try and promote the indie scene over there because I think indie scenes need more of a like a platform. If anyone's watching who's got an indie game got promoted, by all means, hit me up. Uh, I'll put it out there to get as many people's eyes on it as possible. Very cool. And thank you for your time and thank you for waiting on me. Sorry for the delay. Uh, and I think we made up for it though. Um, but uh, I appreciate it. Anything uh, you need from me, just let me know and I'll be right there. Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me. Uh, it was my pleasure. Paul here, live on the kill stream. Thank you, sir. Nice meeting you, Paul. All right. See ya. Bye. All right. For a while. Dingo. Back. Dingo. Well, he doesn't like you. Uh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. I, I, I know. I don't know if he like. He probably doesn't. But I mean, I just. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dingo's getting mad. I can tell. <laughs> No, I got hurt. I, I, know, like, I know, Why? I know, I so long. Like I can tell when he is quiet. Like he actually took it personally. No, I wanted to ask, like, well, wow, what do you think I could do to make it up to him? I don't think he thinks that. I just said that. Like I was just fucking. Okay, good.
I was just fucking with you, dude. Like, uh, anyway. Good, good. I'm a Paul fan. I'm a Paul fan, too. I'm a Paul head. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.